Have you witnessed that, James, where you saw people that went through the program or even heard about the, you know, people that have given up alcohol and gone alcohol free lifestyle and been able to get off drug? I can imagine sleeping pills is a drug, right? Mm -hmm. That absolutely you wouldn't need if you didn't have the disrupted and poor quality sleep that alcohol usually, you know, initiates, especially over time. But have you heard other stories of that? I can, you know, just yes. picture there's got to be some. There's a gentleman who's very comfortable with me sharing his name publicly. His name is Evan Melcher. He's a 48-year-old married father of, of uh, one, lives out in Atlanta, Georgia. He works in financial services for a very well-known financial management company. And when he joined us three years ago when he was 45, he had been on 10 years of anti-anxiety medication mm -hmm. and acid reflux medications mm -hmm. 10 years a decade and despite popping these pills hadn't solved the problem because he was still drinking now he wasn't an alcoholic he was just a socially acceptable drinker he then came and joined our program he stopped drinking for 90 days he was wearing an aura ring during the process and he was tracking his health metrics during the process he took a screenshot of his sleep score and sleep quality just before he started stopping drinking. And then again at 30 days, 60 days, and 90 days. I mean, his sleep scores just absolutely and noticeably transformed so quickly. He got off the prescription medication. He got off the prescription medication entirely. He lost 30 pounds. He felt more connected to his wife he shared with us. Her name is Jennifer. And this is a, a slightly jarring story, but again, he shared this publicly, so it's fine to share. His son, three-year-old name was Ezra, was actually drowning in a pool. And because he was conscious and not drinking, he had the clarity to jump in and save his son. His son actually did drown and he had to be resuscitated and he survived, thank goodness, and is in perfect health. But he says that if he had been living his life the way he always used to live his life, he probably would have had a couple of drinks in him as his son was swimming in that pool. But on that particular day, because he was alcohol free, he was observant enough to see what had happened, to quickly act, to quickly go and save his son's life. Now, for your listener who'd like to just see him share that in his own words, you can just go to alcoholfreelifestyle.com slash Evan one, and one is the number one. And there'll be a 30-minute video there where you can see Evan Melcher share that exact story. And we actually, in B-roll, as, as he's sharing the story, we show the, the, um, the aura ring score where you can see his sleep scores just dramatically improve. And he shares about his resting heart rate, his blood pressure dropping, and he's just flying now. I mean, he is so happy, so engaged, so vibrant. Um, He's been on our podcast now three times because he's just singing the tune of, of an alcohol-free life. Um, our podcast is the Alcohol-Free Lifestyle Podcast. It's in Apple Podcasts mm -hmm. and Spotify. You can just find him. Evan Melcher, again, is his name. And, um, you know, that's that's one, just one of dozens, hundreds of similar stories of people who've completely transformed their lives because they've knocked over that big domino of alcohol, which has opened up all of these other beautiful, healthy habits. Yeah, it's an amazing story. And it really goes to show, listen, I feel like a lot of people understand that alcohol disrupts sleep. There's, of course, the correlation, as you mentioned, to heart, but there's a correlation to everything, including the gut and your stomach. And you just said heartburn, GERD, and, you know, that acid reflux reaction is so correlated to this acidic drink that's terrible for the gut lining that causes a lot of issues can go into these chronic issues. So, I, I think there isn't a single system within the body. Of course, the brain, we know, you know, that won't improve with removing that poison from it, even though we may not correlate all the systems to drinking alcohol in this kind of social setting. Yes, I agree with you. And I think especially in the U.S., the knee-jerk reaction when s someone presents themselves to a doctor is for the doctor to prescribe medication, go and mm -hmm. solve this acid reflux yes. Go and solve right. this your anxiety with this anti-anxiety medication. Right. Ten years he was on that stuff. Ten years. 
And then he stopped yeah. drinking alcohol. Guess what? His anxiety went away. His acid reflux went away. His blood pressure dropped. His resting heart rate dropped. He actually said he, he, um, he saved 5 million heartbeats per year by stopping drinking alcohol. So his heart, when he was drinking, was going at a, let's say, a, if not a rapid pace, a faster pace than what would be perfectly healthy. And then he stopped drinking alcohol. I'm just tapping my heart here. Yeah. And it slowed down. The resting heart rate resting slowed down rate. to the way nature intended it to be. Mm -hmm. And he said he can track definitively through his aura ring and the metrics that he saved 5 million heartbeats per year because he stopped drinking alcohol. That's phenomenal. You know, that that's where you quantify it, right? You could tell people you'll feel better, you'll do this. It's amazing to hear that 5 million heartbeats, which is, you know, how many years probably saving because the more your heart beats at that resting rate, the shorter lifespan. We know that. Yes. They're like hummingbirds that have to beat thousands of times, right? And they have very short lifespans because of that. So if you could get that, and that's the number one cause of disease, of uh, death in the U.S. is heart-related. So, of course, that's a huge issue if you want to live healthy.